Hi and welcome to my guide of the quest rum deal. The quest requirement is Zogur flesh eaters and the skill requirements are 40 farming, 50 fishing, 47 prayer, 42 crafting and slayer. And also you will need to be able to kill a combat 150 monster. The items needed is one pair of slayer gloves which you can buy from any slayer master. Just bring some uh, weight reducing armor and let's say 2 or 3 stamina potions should be enough. Then a weapon to kill the combat 150. I'm just going to use protect from a melee so therefore I will need to have some prayer points and maybe one prayer potion. And then maybe also some food and a weapon to defend yourself against aggressive level 57 zombies. And maybe one teleportation method out of here after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is just northeast of the Ectofunctus, north of Port Pass Metis. Here on this dock you will find Pirate Pete. Talk to him. Just skip through the dialogue. Until you can select yes. Select the first option again, of course, I fear no demon. First option again, nonsense, keep the money. And now he will knock you on the head and this will trigger a cutscene. After this cutscene is over, we will be talking to Captain Braindeath. Just continue talking to him until this will trigger the second cutscene. And after that one is over, we will be given a blind with seat. Alright, after that uh, cutscene is over, we will be given a blind wheat seed. First, let's go a little bit south and then west, and here we'll find a ladder in the northwestern corner. Let's climb down. And here we will find the basement filled with fever spiders of Comet 49, but they are unaggressive. We will need to go to the southeastern corner of this basement. Here you'll find a red dot on your minimap. Next to it, you'll find a cupboard. Search it. Click to continue and then select the fourth option, all of the above. And next, let's return upstairs. Back in the northwestern corner, climb up the ladder. And next, we will need to go south. South of this uh, second floor there we should find a ladder climb down this ladder to go outside from here go south through the opening of the fence and from there go southeast to the farm patches and we will need to go to the most southeastern farming patch this is the blind wheat patch use your rake on it And when you're done raking, use our seed on it. Now this patch will not get disease and you also don't need to water it. 
Now we just need to wait 5 minutes before the uh, blind wheat patch is fully grown. I'm going to drop my weeds and I'll see you back in 5 minutes. Okay, this was actually shorter than I uh, thought. It were actually two minutes according to my timer. So let's pick the blind weed from the patch. And let's return to the captain by going north-west. Uh, go through the gate opening and let's climb up the wooden stairs. From here go north go to the water sign. Use this, use the blind weed on the captain. Next, we will now need to go to the southeastern corner. Southeastern corner of this floor, there will find a ladder which you can climb up. Climb up this ladder. And now we will need to go to the northwestern corner. And in the northwestern corner, we will find a pressure barrel, a lever and a hopper. We will need to use the blind weed on the hopper, which is next to the lever and the uh, pressure barrel. Next, return to the captain. Let's talk to the captain and he will give us our next task. Just skip through the dialogue until he will give you a bucket. Once you have this bucket you can actually drop your farming equipment. You don't need it anymore. Next go south and go back down the stairs where we've just uh, climbed down to go back uh, outside. Once outside let's go south through the gate opening and then go west. We will now need to go to the western shore. Keep going west and then go north once you are at the shore. And here you should find 50% uh, Luke and a bridge. Next to Luke you should find a small gate. Try to open it. You will talk to 50% Luke. Just uh, skip through the dialogue and you will be able to pass. Cross the bridge two bridges going north and here we will need to go northeast so just keep going northeast until you find four rocks on your minimap from there go a little bit more northeast and you will find a different kind of gray on your minimap go towards it and this is a path going up 
follow this uh, darker grey path and you'll find a water source sign on top of the mountain. Click on it to reach it and here you'll find a stagnant lake. Let's fill our bucket with the stagnant water. And when you have this bucket of water, click south on your minimap and let's now return to the captain in the brewery. Alright, when we've returned to the captain, let's use our bucket of water on him. And he will say we'll need to put it in the hopper. So let's go back to the southeastern corner. Go back up that ladder. On the top floor, we will need to go to the northwestern corner. And let's go back to the hopper. Use the bucket of water on the hopper, which is next to the lever. And let's go back to the captain, so he will give us our next task. You don't need your bucket anymore, you may drop it. Just skip through the dialogue and he should give you a fishbowl in a net. Once you have this, we can go south and we will need to go back outside. So let's go back south of the building, climb down the wooden stairs. Then we'll need to go back to the blind wheat farm patch. So when you've returned to the blind wheat patch, just a little bit west of there, we should find a fishing sign. We will need to look for the fishing spot so we can fish some slugglings. Alright, just found a fishing spot. We will need to fish five sluglings. Now, if you would click on your fishbowl and net to untangle them, we will get a fishbowl and a big fishing net. Just simply use them on each other and you will tangle them again. Just keep fishing on the fishing spot until we have five sluglings. And then we will need to go back to the top floor of the brewery to put it in the pressure barrel this time. Alright, I just got five. Let's go north. Let's go back inside. Back upstairs, go to the southeastern corner, go back up the ladder to the top floor. Let's return to the hopper. And next to the hopper, on the uh, just west of the hopper we will find a pressure barrel. Let's use our sluglings on it. All five of them. And then let's pull the pressure lever. And you will get a message in your chat box. And if you look down you will see that the brewery machine is flipping out. Let's return to the captain and see what is happening. Alright, we will now need to fix it and we'll get a wrench. When you have it, let's go west and we'll find a room west of the brewery. Inside we'll find a lot of uh, beds and one NPC called Davy. Let's talk to him. Skip through the dialogue until we see another short cutscene and this will 
make our wrench turn into a holy wrench. Once we have this, let's return to the uh, main brewery and to the moving brewing control. Once you use your holy wrench on the control, a level 150 spirit will spawn and will attack you. We will need to attack this spirit, so use our holy wrench on the brewer control. Then use protect from melee and just kill the evil spirit. Alright, once the spirit is dead, the brewing control will be under control. Let's go back to the captain and see what our next task will be. And now we will need to get a fever spider corpse. Let's go a little bit south, then go back to the northwestern corner and climb down the ladder. Now be sure that you've equipped your slayer gloves and kill one of the level 49 fever spiders. Once one is dead, it will drop its corpse. Let's take the body, climb up the ladder, and now go back to the uh, southeastern corner and go back to the uh, ladder to go to the top floor. And we will need to put this body into the uh, hopper. So let's go back to the northwestern corner, put this in the hopper. After that, we just need to return to the captain and complete our quest. Alright, talk to the captain and I actually lied. We will need to do one more thing. He will give us another bucket and now we will need to go to the southwestern corner of this brewery floor. South of this large machine we should find a vat. Use the bucket on the most southern part of this uh, large yellow machine and use it on the output tab. And you'll get unsanitary swell. Next, go back out downstairs, down the uh, wooden stair. Let's go a little bit south to the uh, fence opening, and here we should find a different looking uh, zombie which has a brown cloak. Talk to Captain Donnie. Just skip through this dialogue, and he should take the bucket. Just skip through the dialogue till the conversation is over. And now we will need to go up the stairs, talk back to the captain, uh, Captain Braindeath, to complete our quest. Congratulations, you've completed Rum Deal Quest. You are awarded with two quest points, the Holy Wrench, 7000 Prayer, Fishing and Farming Experience. The Holy Wrench is an item that will increase your prayer points gained when you drink a prayer restore potion. So for example, if I would drink a prayer potion dose without the wrench, I would gain like, let's say 20 prayer points. If I would have the Holy Wrench in my inventory, I will now gain 22 prayer points per sip. Now lastly, if you don't have a teleport or you would wish to return to Port Pass Mattis, without having an ectofill, go to the northeastern corner of this floor and there should find a uh, dock with Pirate Pete again. Talk to him. Then select the first option, OK. And he will take you back to Port Pass Mattis. This was my guide how to complete Rumdeal quest. Hopefully it helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.